Hi everyone, it's here, thanks for stopping by. So I've got a completion review to show you today. Uh, this is a full crystal canvas that I got from Cool Deals. Um, it was part of a, a PR package back in March last year. And yeah, it's taken me a while to it. <laughs> but anyway, it is now complete. So I'm going to kit it down uh, because I have sorted out my crystals um into some semblance of order but uh, anyway so yeah i'm i'm not quite sure on the picture um i'm not quite sure that full crystals i think when they're more muted colors like this i don't think you have quite the effect that you would if it was just a normal drill picture uh, I don't know whether it's because these sort of goldy, pale goldy colours are a little bit too muted for me. I mean, we have got like a brick wall effect in the back, but I don't think the dandelions have come out quite as well as I expected. I thought it'd be really, really sparkly. I mean, it has got a lot of sparkle if you look at it. There is uh, quite a bit of sparkle in that. And yeah, plenty of drills left over, all went in fairly well. Um, I did actually do it a colour at a time, this one. Uh, I started off with the main background colours uh, of whatever I had the most of, and then just worked um, in on the smaller colours, because uh, it was only 17 colours, this one. And yeah, that seemed to work okay. I ended up with, you know, not having to um, hold it up to the light to see if there was any missing. <laughs> actually managed to get it done uh there was a little bit of popping drills on it yes you can get popping drill on rounds that could have been because of the way i did it because i did it a color at a time um and when it's a poured glue canvas sometimes the drills can move once you've put them down they can sort of seem to slide a little bit i'm not quite sure if you've ever come across that but i find that so i think that could have been done to do with me because once i'd actually used my roller my brayer uh, like this one i've just gone over it and brayed it as you can hear there's not anything now cracking or popping so i think it was more my putting the drills down than actually the fact that the drills didn't fit on the canvas it, it, so it was a good canvas um yeah I, sat, I, um, I don't know, it actually looks better um, on camera than it does in real life. Maybe once I've got it up on the wall in a frame and I can see it from a distance, I think it will probably look better. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's the little thumbnail there. So the colours to me, I think you can, if I put that next to it, these are more greys and blues and silvers, whereas this has got a lot of green. I understand the bits of purple to give it that bit of highlight, but I think I would have preferred it more if this back was more of a silver colour um, or a more muted colour or even grey uh, would have possibly looked better. So, yeah, uh, you can't really see the butterflies either. You sort of get a an instance of them. I mean, it is only a 30 by 40. Um, and I believe that this is a true 30 by 40 as well. Let me just uh, double check. Oops, helps if you look at the wrong side. Oh. All right, no, it's 24 centimetres by 34 centimetres. So yeah, it's a standard one then for a poured glue. I had it in my mind that it was actually a full 30 by 40, but it's not. So this, I'm going to cut it out anyway, and I'm going to put it into one of my magnetic frames downstairs. And uh, I'm going to just look at it for a while and see what I think. <laughs> so let's just cut these edges off for now. And then I can get it put straight away onto the wall because I have got a very blank wall after Christmas. Uh, I am going to put this one into the Smashing the Specials as a completion. Um, I think I did start this one possibly for Smashing the Specials in August. Yeah, I did. I've had this hanging around on my desk since last August, half done. And I finally decided this Christmas... It is going to be done because, I mean, again, that's possibly some of the drills have maybe got knocked because I have like a um, 
a little one of those tables you know that tilts just a little portable one that folds up uh, not one of the great big ones i'd love one of those but i haven't really got anywhere to put it um and uh, i've put like a, a drawing board on top of it so any painting that i'm in the midst of doing i put the drawing board on top of the painting uh, so possibly I might have moved some of the drills as well. But as I say, they are all lying flat now after uh, using my speed ball, speed ball brayer. So, yeah, it's I say, more my fault than the company's fault, I think, on that one. OK, but yeah, you can get popping drills with rounds. And you can never really use rounds on a square painting if you ever get... Um, a square canvas, a canvas that's been charted out for squares. If you tried using rounds on it, you'll probably find it won't work very well um, because rounds are just slightly bigger than squares. And uh, yeah, that can cause it popping. Okay, let's just get these edges off. And then as I say, I have actually uh, sorted out, well, some of my drills. Uh, I am going through craft math at the moment which is like the aftermath of Christmas, but it's uh, aftermath of crafting at Christmas. So I have lots to put away, lots to catch up on. Oh my goodness, I've got little piles of things that are probably going to keep me going till uh, next Christmas that I need to do. But I'll show you how far I've got with sorting out my crystals. You can see where we are. So I'll get rid of those. Our dustbin is absolutely a chock a block full. My goodness me. Our dustmen will be thinking, what on earth have you been up to? And you, it has been Christmas, so I suppose everybody else's will be the same as well. But yeah. So. Anyway, hope everybody's doing okay. And uh, that everything is treating you kindly. Um, big hugs to anybody that needs them. I know not everybody's a hugger. I'm a hugger. I'm very much a. I like to hug anything from uh, animals to humans. I don't mind. <laughs> oh dear. All right, let's just get this finished off here. I always find it's better to cut from this angle. And when you're cutting, just cut slightly at an angle so it goes just slightly under the drills and then you don't get the white bit on the edges. And I like to keep this bit, which I'll have to get some goo gone on that and just get that glue off there. And then that will also go, that's the inventory sheet, that will go in my little log book as well. And the little stickers will go in my log book. Oh, that's a tiger one. I wonder where that one came from. Okay, so I'll look that one up as well. So they're all to go in my log book. These bits can be thrown away. That's the tiger as well. Ooh, okay, they must have been in my little thing when I was uh, sorting out my drills. Oh, and I've got that bit as well. So yeah, I just, I don't know why, don't ask me. Uh, you don't have to, but I tend to keep all my bits. Um, and I do like to have a picture of uh, which canvas I've done because I can never remember what it was if I just put a name because I call things all sorts of strange names. <laughs> right, so 17 different gems and colours. Now then, uh, this is all my crystals that I've got to put away and sort out at some point. Now, what I've done so far is sort them out into bags. So all the little crystals I've got, I've got these in... Uh, Blues, oranges, <laughs> reds, oh dear, pinks, including hot pink, golds, greens, purples, and I think that's one that I need to, oh, is that browns? Oh, that's brown. I was going to say I thought that was one I needed to sort, but no, that's browns. So they're all ones that I need to try and colour match to get onto my chart. Yeah, that's going to take some doing, but, you know, never say never. It's one of those things that I will get done. Um, what I'm going to do, let me just show you. I 
have got my art dot chart which has all the dmc colors on it and all of the different colored crystals now because different companies sometimes have a little bit variation in the color or different dye lots you may find that some of these vary a little bit to what's actually on here but this is giving you a good indication as to what all your colors are on your resin or your acrylic gems so that's why i got this and then i noticed on the back you've actually got all the colors listed in number order what um, they've done on this which is really handy is actually put them in color order so rather than thinking oh no i need a pink and then having to go through all your different colours because the pinks are all different numbers like this one's uh, 3713 and this one's 961 then if uh, you just use this card then you can actually see your different colours um, and see which ones go together and see which ones well I haven't got that colour but I've got that colour and that's the nearest and things like that so I found this really handy and um, I particularly found it handy with ABs uh, if I'm looking for an AB and I haven't got the exact colour in AB, I can get this out uh, and just double check on here and see what's the nearest colour. But because there is, as I say, on the back, uh, it does give you like a code. I mean, uh, to be honest, what it's actually telling you is that's uh, 891 and you're going to look um, for colour 2 uh, and then whichever column it is that it's in so that you can find it on here a bit easier. But I'm going to use this and stick one of the little gems. So this, uh, see if I can show you. Oops. <laughs> I might as well find one that's actually got some gems in it. So this is colour 153 that I've got in here in gems. So I will stick it next to 153. Okay, so then when I start looking through all my gems that aren't, haven't got DMC codes, then I can start colour matching using this key code rather than having to go through all my colours. I hope that makes sense. It'll maybe make more sense as I do it and I will, um, as I say, do it on camera as I go along. So that's my kit, but I've got to stick those on first. I've not got that done yet. Okay. Right, so what I have done is set up a new box with all of my crystals in and if you remember oh late on last year i did actually go and buy some um stickers and they were dmc code stickers and all of the stickers were actually the color of whichever uh, drill it was so like i say 153 has got like a lightish purple so that's showing a light purple 154 is a little bit deeper so that's a deeper purple and that one is that color it's not exactly the, the same color as the what's on the number oops i can't see that can you bit of a glare I'm trying to right so what i've done uh, if you remember i got some uh, numbers some dmc numbers that were all color coded so each of the different stickers were, were the color of the actual dmc gem i think you can see that so yeah so that's three different colors of purple there uh, and i've got one five three five four and five five and they're all a slightly different color but at least you can see that they are supposed to be a purple colour on the sticker. So what I thought was, if I am colour matching and I say get a canvas with a number uh, and say it says 153, but when I come to put it away, it's a green colour rather than a purple colour, I'll know that they're not DMC codes that are on the canvas. This is my thinking anyway. So this is what I've done. So I've spent uh, quite a while going through and putting all of the 477, is it no, 447 DMC codes uh, and the sticker numbers onto a bag. So a lot of them, some of them have got some in, but most of them haven't got any in at all. So when I do come across um, a canvas that has got DMC codes on it for the crystals, like uh, this one from Cool Deals did have, then I can put them away. Yay! 
Okay, so good thinking or not, not sure. Um, but that means now I have an extra box. <laughs> and what I've done, because um, anybody that uh, does craft buddy crystal art canvases and cards and projects and things, they have their own numbering system for crystals. And their starts at number one, which is your plain crystal, um, and goes up to, I think I'm on three, six or something. So I don't think any of these are DMC codes. Well, I know they're not because they start at one and DMC starts um, for colour coding for diamond painting at 150. So I've just literally kept the Craft Buddy ones in Craft Buddy order. And I am going to continue to do that whilst I get this set up properly. And then what I'll have to do is probably go through and colour match these as well. So, as you can tell, I do an awful lot of uh, Craft Buddy Crystal Art canvases because that's just plain crystals. I then do have my other box. Oops. Which I have now moved into a matching white and gold box. And this is all of my shaped and special shaped drills so it's the larger rounds and um, the marquees the teardrops the flowers stars things like that are all in here that's all the ones that i haven't got any code for that are just literally put into the four categories and then this side is the craft buddy side so we'll be looking at that later on because i've got quite a few craft buddy ones to put away uh, from my christmas ones but we'll do that another day oh dear Okay, so let's get started with these. It is all based on uh, Rebecca Admore Zest's um, system. If you want to go and check out her YouTube channel, uh, she does have a really good comprehensive way of setting this up. It is basically buying... Now, I've treated myself to the good little bags. Um, these are very expensive, really, um, just for putting drills in, but I find it's the easiest thing to do. It saves a lot of cardboard as well. Um, and I decided I wanted them all nice and neat and all together. And then it is just literally foam board as like the dividers. I will be prettying it up a little bit more as Rebecca says, which is organising it a bit better. Um, at the moment, I've just got sort of like little white dividers, but I will be putting some other dividers with numbers on so I can find things a little bit easier. But uh, this is sort of the basic setup at the moment. So hopefully every colour that I have here to put away now has a little bag to put it in. So let's see, let's see. Right, so we're going to start at number one, which is number 153. So let's have a look in here and find number 153. And it is that colour. And just double check, yep. It is that colour, so I'll get those put in there. So, yeah, this is something, it may seem a bit faffy. It may seem as though it's a bit extra to do. If you're not going to use your extra gems and you don't want them for anything, or you just literally maybe use them as just in colours, um, you don't have to do it this way. But I think I am a little bit OCD and I do like to have things organised and, you know, the fact that all of those drills are in that bag and all the red ones are all in the bag together and all the white, uh, the gold ones and everything, I want to get them all sorted. But at the moment, as I say, it's going to take a while. I think what I'm properly, probably going to need to do is to say lay all the red ones out and try and colour match the ones that I've got um, that are all loose at the moment before I then start trying to match them up. But you've got to have a really good um, visibility day, a really clear day and at the moment we just seem to be getting really really dark days so it's something that I'll maybe do more in the summer and go into a room where there's really good natural daylight and that I can sort them out because some of the different colours are so near um, and if I am going to do this then I want to try and get them all right <laughs> from the off i don't want to be thinking oh well that's near enough and tipping it in and then thinking oh, i wish i hadn't done that because i'm not going to then sit and sort them all out so anyway sensing my madness hopefully so right we want 209 now 
Okay, let's have a look. Um, what I've done is put little bits of card after 100, 200, 300, 400. So it just makes it a little bit easier to find. So 209. Yep, they look like those. So I'm just checking that uh, I'm not putting in a green with a purple or anything like that so that they are a colour that uh, is right. So you will get variations. There's different dialogues, you know, like if you go and um, buy some wallpaper, you always used to have to look at the code numbers on the wallpaper to make sure you were getting the same batch. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit like that with uh, the drills. You know, even the same company can have a different dialogue and have the slight colour variation. I mean, not massively, you're not gonna get like a, a pink and it comes out yellow or something, but you do sometimes get a little bit of variation. So let me have a look. But, uh, yeah, this is quite nice. And I love kitting down when it's like this, when you've got everything organized and you just come to it and you can just tip your drills into your little bags. And there's one already there. You're not having to go out and get another little bag. You're not having to look for a pen or anything to write the numbers down. It's all just there ready. Okay. And it does seem as though a few of the crystal canvases that I've had um, and some of the special drills do have numbers on. So I'm going to start checking on those now to see if they are uh, special, if they are special drills, if they are <laughs> DMC numbers on just the crystal drills. And we'll see where we go. So, yeah, you see, that's like a, a bluey grey colour and it's a bluey grey sticker. Oh, oh, I've still got the old one there as well. So I'll take that out. I did have a few where I wrote the numbers on by hand, but uh, then I decided I was going to use my posh stickers. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so it's one of those jobs. It takes a bit to set up, but once you've got it set up, it just does make life a little bit easier. So now I'm onto the 600s. So I want 644. Uh, if you've seen my round and squares, if you've seen my D kittens on those, then you will know I do have a lot, well, I have a lot more rounds than I have squares. But uh, yeah, it is set up exactly the same way as this. And I looked at various different ways of setting up my crystals and I just decided I'm going to take the plunge and I'm going to set it up like this. So we'll see how it goes. I think like anything and any craft, depending on how much you do, depending on what you've got, depending on how you like to have things. It's like an ever-growing monster. It evolves as, as you go along. Um, you know, this is the way that I've set it up at the moment, but I, then I might decide, oh no, I don't like it like this. It's not working for me like this. And I might set it up completely differently. But at the moment, this is how I'm doing it. So six, six, two, uh, sorry, seven, six, two. Okay, and it's like a lemony pale colour. So, yeah, I do like these stickers with the colour on it. Just, uh, just give it that little bit more, um, well, to check. A safeguard, shall we say, a little bit of a safeguard. 6162. Okay, put those back in there. And I do like, once you've got a canvas done, Kitting it all down, it's quite satisfying just putting everything away and everything's got a little place to go. All right now, I want 793 because there's not many in some of these bags, uh, they are a little bit slippy and they do keep slipping underneath. But as uh, they fill up more, then it will get a little bit easier. But at the moment, they keep all wanting to just slip and go underneath one another, but anyway. Hopefully that will sort itself out as I start getting more drills into the bags. Okay, you see that's blue and I wouldn't have really said that's blue, so I'll have to keep an eye on that one. Oh, and that's something that's just decided to tip itself off the desk and disappear. <laughs> I hope that wasn't my 800s that have just gone. Uh, that's seven, seven. No, that's, that's there. So why have I got two bit, bits of uh, foam board there? See, it's very slippy at the moment. Anyway, as long as they stay in this box, I'll be okay. It wouldn't be me if something didn't try escaping and I was jumping off the desk as I'm doing it, would it? <laughs> okay. Oops, you can't quite see that one, can you? Let's put it that way so you can see it better. 
Right, seven, nine, four. So we're still in the sevens. So they are just going underneath each other a little bit. Okay. And that's that one to put away. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few um, more videos coming on me storage and what i'm doing and i've got me a video to do of uh, my craft room now it's a lot more sorted out but as i say at the moment um i am in crafter math as i call it which is uh, yeah just stuff everywhere to do i got an awful lot done um in december an awful lot of projects i've got a big box full of things that i need to seal so i think i'm going to spend a whole day just sealing stuff um i'll maybe do some on camera because it's a while since i've done any uh, videos on sealing and um, that's where you, you put in like a, a coating on top of your drills and it just stops them from moving around not necessary particularly on pictures and things like this but certainly if you like bookmarks or ornaments or something you know that you're putting away for christmas next year um, it does sometimes pay just to Put the sealer on and it just just lock the drills in place as it were but i've got that many to do i think well i'll be falling asleep let alone me <laughs> asleep watching me do it <laughs> it's a good job i've got plenty of sealer okay there has been a, a sale on as well at tech craft buddy crystal art and i did mean to go and buy some more but i forgot <laughs> I thought, oh, go and have a look, and then I just didn't get on in time. Never mind. Right, so now I'm looking for a 3768. So 37, and I'm looking for 68. Okay. 72, so it'd be a couple just before that one. 66, 68. Just pull that one up so I can put it back in the right place. Okay. Uh, I've just got, I think, one more full uh, crystal canvas to do. That is the uh, cat-eared flower one. And I will be getting that one done. But uh, when I got that one, when I bought that one, because actually that's squares, so it won't go in here anyway. Um, oh, now then, what am I going to do with my squares? Oh, there's another thought. Uh, anyway, I'll think about that when I come to it. But yeah, a lot of people bought that canvas and I saw a lot of people uh, doing it, reviewing it, unboxing it. Um, so I just thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll leave mine and I'll do it another time. Because you don't want to be seeing everybody doing the same things. <laughs> we all have our own way, but you definitely don't want to um, see me do the same canvas as everybody else. So I thought, oh, well, I'll leave that one then. And we'll see where we are another day. All right. So just a few more to do. Hubby was sat watching me and saying, "What are all them in there?" So well, these are all. Just, what are you what are you doing with them all? I said, "Well, I'm sorting them out so that I can find them." So well, what do you want to find them for? What are you going to do with them? And then he says, "You're not just keeping them for the sake of it, are you?" No. <laughs> Oh dear. But anyway, so let's have a look. We've already got some of those, and yes, that's the same colour. It's a lovely colour, this one. It's like a turquoisey, bluey, greeny colour. Really pretty. Really like that one. Okay. So, get those in there. Okay. So, they're very pretty colours on this flower. I'm just. I don't know, I think it's possibly, as I say, the sort of like goldy colour in the background that's just deadening it that little bit for me. Okay, so 38, 10, 9, 10. Oh, no, we haven't got any of those. So it'll be interesting to see how long it takes me to get one of every colour. <laughs> but as I say, the, the ones that I've done, I've not been... Once I've disliked them, I've not been as wowed by them as I thought I was going to be. So I don't know whether I'll keep doing lots of full crystal ones or not. I don't know. Um, they aren't the easiest thing to do either, particularly when you're using um, a magnifier with a light on it. Because you do get quite a bit of reflection off the drills. 
and sometimes that you know I, I do struggle to actually see to put them down but that's just um I say with my eyesight so yeah right 38 17 oh I've got these in the wrong order look 38 11 right so 10 11 I must have put them back the wrong way around while I was doing them so 38 11 Okay, I've got a few of those already, yep. Yeah. These are very pretty. The dandelions are very, very pretty. Let's see. Oops, 11, and then we want 17. That's 10, 11, 12. So let's find 17. Yeah, they're all curling up and wanting to disappear behind one another. Okay. And then the rest are just the B5 200s. Right. 18, 17, which are just your plain crystals. Your plain, well, white, but they're silver, aren't they, for crystals? And my jar is getting very, very full. Okay, that's those. Yeah, there's just a few in there. So I think I did make a bag for a B5200 because there was actually ones. Yeah, they did the uh, Ecru, um, the Blank and the B5200. So I thought I might as well use the stickers. So I am just going to put a few because there's only a few. I'm just going to put a few in here. Oh, there's just a few already in there. Anyway, I'll just put a few in there rather than just tipping them all in my jar. And then if I have got my box out, I don't have to come running upstairs to get my jar if I've got this downstairs. Well, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it anyway. <laughs> Oops. Oh, get these labels off. So because they've been on here for such a long time, I'm going to have to get my goo gone out and uh, get all these lids cleaned because they have been very, very well used. Okay, so those stickers can now all come off my desk. This is why I end up with a dirty desk, because I have stickers and things on it. Okay. Oh, that is my chair as well that's squeaking, promise. <laughs> so, yeah, and then this is um, a lipstick holder from uh, AliExpress. And the lipstick holders oh, <laughs> just hold these lovely little... Um, containers that hold what they do we work out about 2,000 drills just slightly over 2,000 drills so yeah I like these particularly for quick projects for special drill projects and you've got your little extra bits at the side there for holding your pens as well I've done a few unboxings on these as well because I have got a few different sizes in them okay so that is that done um, I say it's all my special drills at the moment. Well, my crystals anyway, all nice and organised and in a box and ready to stack. Do you know, I've had these boxes, um, but they're quite a year, but it was certainly early on last year that I decided to do this. So, yeah, don't ever beat yourself up if it takes you a long time to do something or if you get something and think, I'll do that later. Later can eventually come round. <laughs> Let me just pop that back in there somewhere so I'm sure I'll be using it for something. It must just come out of somewhere so I'll pop it in there. And then my pretty little picture which I'm going to now go and put on my, uh, uh, sorry, in my frame on my wall downstairs. Okay, well that's me done. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, having a look at this and seeing how I've uh, now organised my uh, standard crystals. If you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and subscribe to the channel, uh, all it means is it's like following and um, you just get a notification. So if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and then the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.